This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. There's been much talk about the mysterious seeds being sent to, in the mail to people, but do you know what to do if it happens to you? Nicole Kaiser, a Jackson resident, opened up about her experience. Kaiser says that, that she instantly knew something was wrong when she saw a package of seeds in the mail from Malaysia on Wednesday. I thought it was an Amazon package, but it was a little, and I looked at it and it said seeds, said Kaiser. I don't know what they are, and that's the scary part, is the not knowing. She's not the only one getting packages of mysterious seeds. The Michigan Department of Agriculture recently put out an advisory telling people not to open packets of seeds in the mail if they didn't order them. Kaiser says she's just trying to figure out what to do with them. People recommended Kaiser called the DNR and the Agriculture Department. She hasn't heard yet back. The USDA says they believe these packages may be the result of a brushing scam where people receive unsolicited items from a seller. The seller goes to post false customer reviews to boost sales. The Michigan Department of Agriculture says anyone who received a package of seeds from out of state should send them to the Metro Airport Center in Romulus. Michigan senators are punching the clock over the weekend to discuss a series of back-to-school bills already passed by the Republican-led House. As the debate over in-person versus online learning continues, school districts have just one day left to finalize their plans for the fall. Michigan state senators have called for a rare Saturday session to discuss forcing school districts to offer a face-to-face -face learning option. Also expected on their agenda, a number of school-related bills passed by the Republican-led House in July. The bills cover topics like how to approach attendance requirements for online learning and setting a state standard for e-learning days. The state house plans to convene on Monday. Three Michigan women have filed a lawsuit against the state over the tax on menstrual products. The lawsuit alleges that the tampon tax is unlawful and invalid, and it violates the equal protection clauses of the United States and Michigan constitutions, and discriminates on the basis of sex. According to the complaint, the plaintiffs say that those who purchase tampons, pads, and liners are forced to pay an additional $6.9 million annually in sales and use taxes to the state. Last year, two Michigan lawmakers proposed a bill that would prohibit the state from charging sales tax on tampons, pads, and other women's sanitary items. In Michigan, women's sanitary products are currently classified as luxury items. In the lawsuit, the plaintiffs are also calling for refunds to be issued to those who have paid sales tax for menstrual products over the past four years. According to the lawsuit, this adds up to over $25 million. The coronavirus has changed all of our lives and many people don't know where to turn for help. That's why Fox 47 News WSYM-TV created Rebound MidMichigan. Everything you need to get back on track in one convenient place from dealing with stress to unemployment to helping put food on your table, plus ways you can lend a hand in your own community. Rebound MidMichigan, everything you need to get you through these difficult times. We may have fallen, but we will rebound together. Visit fox47news.com forward slash rebound to learn more. Learn more about all of these and all MidMichigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.